A new corner of the Marvel Cinematic Universe has been unveiled as Marvel Studios Eternals has come to both DVD and Steelbooks as well as Blu-ray and 4K Ultra HD around the world. Hey everyone, Joe here from The Collection Compass and welcome to your Marvel Studios Eternals DVD and Steelbook unboxing. Now, a little short history. On our other channel, ActionX, I had been doing every single MCU film, um, well, DVD unboxing one, since Thor's Dark World. Last year, we wrapped up with Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings. And, of course, now with this new channel, all of our MCU content will be moving over here. So, here we have our very first MCU DVD and also Steelbook unboxing with Eternals. Kind of an ironic one to start it off with, and also this is the first steel book I purchased for myself. I purch um, George gave me my first steel book last Christmas, so now I'm officially on the steel book train. Thank you, George, in both great happy ways and also ways that my wallet wants to strangle you. But here we are, it's Arnold. So now I gotta buy both of these movies again. Uh, well, I'm buying both. I'm buying the movies two times. So I'm buying the DVD version because. The DVD collection over there and Steelbook because honestly like I've always been intrigued by Steelbooks I've always liked them as a concept it was just always when do I get in there like how do I get in there and also considering the fact that I have more than 650 DVDs to my collection is it worth it at this current time period to invest in them and as well as eventually get steelbook versions of well not all of them because like obviously for the tv shows they're never going to get steelbooks because that's just going to be way too much money in the pipeline but at least for the movies half of my collection isn't worth it and right now starting off with eternals i feel like we're getting there we're getting there, it, there, there there's still a lot of baby steps but you're here for the Eternal stuff, not my own personal thing. So Eternals came out last year. I saw it with a bunch of my friends, and it was very divisive, so to speak. I believe it's, it was way more divisive than The Last Jedi, and everyone knows how The Last Jedi was divisive. And that's just my opinion with my friend group that I was with. I saw it with about six of my friends, and we've all had very unique perspectives on the film. Let's just say that. But of course, obviously, you're here for the DVD and Steelbook. I'll talk about my review at the end. But until then, let's just d dive right in. Okay, so we're going to start with the DVD because this is obviously, you know, sentimental value here. Um, the Eternals poster is the, well, the DVD cover is the Eternals movie poster. The one that we ended up getting. Honestly, you know, just this design one, I thought it was unique. It, you know, more MCU films have done the, the now cliche hero in the middle, supporting cast, the villain, whatever iconography that the film has an association with would be around as well. And there you have your Marvel series. Well, it was amazing at the start because it was like its own unique brand. Now it's kind of gotten a little bit stale. I mean, you can still play with the colors, you can still play with what the movie's representing. It could still be a cool thing, but for me, it was very much... It's getting a little old, in my opinion. But, so this was a little bit of a unique taste, plus, again, you have 11 uh, internals, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to try and per represent that in a poster, but this being kind of, you know, different, kind of also symbolized the mood that, like, yeah, this isn't your traditional MCU film. It it's something else. Okay, I'll, I'll talk more about that at the end. Side profile-wise, uh, to give it a little bit more credit, I'll get to the Steelbook one in a second, but it does have some of the Eternals um, symbols on it, so I'm like, I, give, I give it credit that it does have that, so over the other one, which is like, I think the only thing the DVD cover has a little bit more than the uh, Steelbook. Here we have the back, which is um, the main, main 11 silhouette of the Eternals, their ship, which honestly, it is vast. It is supposed to be this like mystical ancient machinery that should not work, but it, it, it's, it's, it's unique. It's different and two stills from the movie. Um, I, for, one of the, I think it's one of the Deviants and the, the, one of the, and the Cel Celestial. So I think that's what, I think I spelled the name correctly. I think so. In here you have your traditional grade desk, the usual Disney pamphlets of stuff. So overall, your standard Eternals DVD. So that's basically um, what you're going to get for 22, 20 bucks. Well, I think it was 21. It was 20 bucks. It was 20 bucks. Well, 22 plus tax. You know what I mean. Now, next up we have here is the Steel Book. Now, of course, the, the way it, it, it feels on my fingertips is a little bit more... It's different, you know. I'm still getting used to Steel Book. I've touched Steel Books before. Uh, I actually, my first unofficial Steelbook was the 2018 Spider-Man game one, but I gave that away to George, so um, I could have had it, but I ended up giving it away to him, so um, George better thank me one. So, with here, 
um, with the cover. Um, so here's a little confusion that I, I had into going into this uh, release is that the Target one, which I honestly thought Target had their own steelbook. So I was like, should I get the Target ones? Do I get the, do I get the Best Buy ones? Like I was going to kind of be a little finicky here because Best Buy is now I know is currently the only retail provider that has steelbook. Like Target has the Ultra HD. Um, they have the Ultra HD. 4k discs you know in a box so you could purchase it from them and they have their own little design but it's all cardboard it's not it's not as nice as a steelbook so i ended up going with the best buy version i will say design wise target does win in superior in the superior terms um but of course obviously in the in the finish of the cover it definitely belongs to um best buy so in this one um you just have the core 11 um coming forward in a shining light in a badass pose um again i'll talk about everything in a second but i honestly do like this cover i really do um it's one of those i think it was just one of the many imax posters that you got into celebrate the release i believe so i could be wrong there i'll double check but uh if i don't say anything else i think that's it side profile which this is exactly why i said with the acha I'll, 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 I'll try my best to show both um so yeah, so definitely the DVD version has more of the of the symbols. Iconography, this is just a plain black bar, which, again, it's not the end of the world. I don't think there's ever going to be a universally beloved version of collecting home media. So if they would have just had the symbols here, it would have been perfect for me. But again, I, I really don't mind. And on the back, you have, well, the one of the main, I guess the main icon, the main symbol. Also, you can see me in the, in the camera. Uh, Oh, you can't see my hand because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a righty and I'm trying to show my left. So, um, cool logo, cool design. I, the one thing I do love about the steel books, at least for the MCU ones that I've already paid attention to, is that the main icon, the main symbol of the movie, is on the back of the steel book. So I thought that was a, it, that was pretty cool. Honestly, that was pretty cool. Opening up inside, we have the Ultra, the 4K Ultra HD, the Blu-ray version, and the usual um, paper version. So there you go. There it is. And so, uh, but of course, obviously, the cool thing, which I'm going to show off here in a second, is that you get this really cool, I don't know how this works, I should have prepared better, there we go, and also, I'm, I'm basing this all, and this is a new, new thing for me, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to show this off camera, but uh, hopefully my VO is pointing out, but you get a very cool poster, or a very cool shot of the um, Celestial from the movie, I, I forgot his name, because the movie came out such a long time ago. Before we continue, here's the specs. Brought to you by It's Just George here. Because you should know what's going to be showing on your TV before you put in that disc. I also have to put pen and paper into this um, thought um, review wise. I... <laughs> I'm in the I'm in the in between side of things um, because when Eternals was being promoted, um, obviously the director was Chloe Zhao, uh, Academy Award winner. Currently, um, that was she got that well before. Uh, was it before? I, I think it, yeah, it came out. Timing wise, I don't remember because this movie came out in November. I want to say that I'm pretty sure that I, I think her nominee. Yeah, no, no, I remember. I, I remember now. So. When this movie was being promoted, when this was, you know, getting the promotional spiel, you know, obviously people were excited because Chloe Zhao had won an Oscar, and this was going to be a different type of MCU film. It wasn't really something that I think Marvel wanted to do. I think they found the characters to be interesting and cool, but they, of course, they were just waiting on... This was one of those, we need the right director that's passionate about these characters to make the, the project work. And so to speak, like, and also Eternals is like, I think one of the very bottom... Not bottom B listers or D listers. Uh, more more along the lines of you have to really ask the most hardcore of the hardcore Marvel comics fan to tell you who the Eternals are. Because even your average reader, your average Joe schmuck probably wouldn't even know what the heck the, the Eternals are. So when it came to that, like you really had to find someone that was passionate about the source material, and you needed to also cast these huge names involved in the world of Hollywood to get into this film. So you have actors like. Angelina Jolie, and Sama Hayek, Gemma Chan, um, Richard Matterson, I think I pronounced his word, like the guy from Game of Thrones, well, both of them are from Game of Thrones, um, Kumail Naji, you just, and, and also the girl from The Walking Dead, and again, I'm sorry, I'm very horrible with names, so I'm, apologies if I don't say everyone's name precisely, I apologize, um, but you know, even with that cool cast, you know, being the the main appeal for, you know, casual movie where like, oh, I know this actor, I know this actress, I'm gonna go see this movie, and also it's Marvel, so hopefully I'm gonna enjoy the ride. Again, when the movie came out, 
it seemed fine at first with all the original, you know, um, press, and then you get into like the critics and the and the casual fans. You get into more of that divisive territory where um, it is bloated. I will say that it didn't need to be the runtime that it needed to be. Absolutely not. I think if you switch this runtime with, um, for example, the follow-up film No Way Home, I feel like that would have worked out better because I, I understand Eternals is a complex mythological film. You're setting up so many new uh, uh, elements to the MCU. You're setting up a whole new corner. You're putting in new questions. You're putting in, you know, interesting choices and turns so I do understand why the runtime need to be this way but at the same time I was more along the lines of I wasn't really satisfied 100% if you know what I mean um I did enjoy this movie I did enjoy it, it is not on my high tier MCU movie it definitely most is, it isn't I think it ranked around 18 or 19 on my list currently so it's pretty low it's still not a bad movie i'm not saying it's a bad movie i'm not saying that at all uh, but i am saying that out of every mcu project that is released so far with the disney plus show included uh, it is there is just so much more greatness that this film just kind of gets you know swallowed out by it so to speak um but i am very hopeful that the eternals will return as a general concept which i know they will the mcu everything's connected everything is tangled into to each other so you will get to see these cast of characters again at some point in the future it's just a matter of when and where as well as after the critical you know reaction to the film there is another question of is people clamoring for eternals 2 right now there isn't seem to be much more of a hype around that currently but again we'll see how it goes in my opinion but that's just a matter of, let's see what the future holds. There's so much coming in the MCU. So right now, seeing another Eternals film seems like a long pipe dream. It seems like something that's still far away on it. As well as, I'm pretty sure uh, my normal co-host, George, probably is happy with that fact since, no offense. Well, no offense for him. You know, he, he didn't like the movie at all. He really didn't. He did not. He was, I think, the most critical of the film out of the people I saw. And everyone I saw was like, fine, or just okay at best at the end of the day. Again... Marvel Studios Eternals is not the worst MCU movie in the world. It definitely is not the best. It is enjoyable. It is a little bloated. You will like these characters. I don't think you'll fall in love with this corner unless that's your unless the genre and the feel seem to you. But if you're a casual or a regular MCU fan, this is a, a bold new direction in the MCU. And it's something that it will need some refinement should we return to this corner in the future. So, um... Take that as you will there. Uh, but yeah, so if you're unaware, this has been Joe from The Collection Compass talking about and reviewing and also unboxing the Marvel Studios Eternals DVD, which you can find at your Targets as your Best Buy on your local retailer's website for $19.99. Or you can purchase the Marvel Studios Eternals Steelbook from Best Buy. It's a Best Buy exclusive. Uh, I believe this cost me around the range of 35 bucks. <laughs> My wallet Frick you, George. Why? Uh, but anyway, uh, go find it there. In my personal collection, um, my personal recommendation, if between the two, this is the coolest. Uh, but if you only care about the movie, the DVD is perfectly fine for you as well. Uh, moving forward, all of our MCU unboxings will be both DVD and Steelbook. Uh, in my wallet. Uh, but again, um, we've also unboxed almost everything else in the MCU over on Action Day, so check over on our playlist where you can check out our entire MCU DVD unboxings now, Steelbook playlist over there, so go check them out right there. Please share this unboxing with your friends, with your family, with any random cohort that loves Marvel, especially the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, Please also subscribe to The Collection Compass for more cool unboxings like this one. It's going to be a while before our next one. I think the next one we're going to do is My Hero, but that's a long ways away. And as well as, please also um, follow us on social media to stay up to date with any sort of updates we may have for this channel. Um, but until then, um, let me know in the comments below what did you think of Marvel Studios and Turtles. I'd love to talk to you guys down below. Um, but until then, stay safe out there, be good to each other, and as always, peace out.